Hello, guys. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hey, Christian. How are you? Good. I mean, that's great. How is everything at work? Is everything okay? Yes. I mean, that's great. That's great to hear. I am just like the classmates are just getting connected. That's great. All right, so good morning for the one. I'm just getting crazy. Good evening for the ones who are just getting connected, people. It's a great pleasure, as always, to have you here, right? Uh, tonight, we are going to have a very interesting topic to be talking about, like the one we did yesterday. Actually, we are going to start with a short feedback related to for this class. So uh, we're going to have a good time this hour practicing the structure that we are going to be discussing tonight. And besides that, a short feedback from the previous class, right? Uh, let me see. David says, OK, David, no problem. When you get home, you can turn on your camera and participate, OK? No problem. So guys, how was your day today? Let's start with the, you see that there are very few of you connected. So how was your day, people? Very good, teacher. OK, that's great to hear, Clara. That's great to hear. What about the one from the rest? How are you guys? How was your day? Uh, OK, I'm going to go straight to some people. OK, so Christian said he got, he got a good day, right? So I asked Christian, what about yours, Walter? How was your day, mister? I'm fine, teacher. Uh, OK, that's great. That's great. OK. That's really good to hear. All right. What about you, Robert? Hello. All right. What about your day? How was it? Um, so very tired, but I I'm so happy because uh today is Friday, tomorrow is Saturday. Day to relax. I am, and this is like the last day of a hard work, right? And especially for the ones who don't work tomorrow. So you got two days off, and that's excellent. Some for the ones who work, right, on Saturdays, like in my case, that I got to work. Uh, that sucks. But anyways, there's no other way, right? So we got to work and try to move on, right? Okay, very good. All right, people. Now... Let's start with a short feedback from what we were just discussing in the last class. What do you guys remember from yesterday's class? What was the topic about? Can somebody remember what were we talking about yesterday? There is and there are. Okay, very good. So we were discussing about the uses of there is and there are. Okay, excellent. In what situations can I use there is? What is singular? Ah, okay, very good. So basically we use there is for singular nouns only, right? Perfect. What about there are? Okay. What about there are? Plural. For, okay, for, for plural nouns only, right? Okay, that's great. All right, people. Now, I would like to show you something. that We are going to start as yesterday with a short conversation. Give me one second. Okay, I got it in my name. But uh, let me see how many are you right now. 16. Okay, so I'm going to go. Uh, straight to the attendance list first. 
and then we are going to start with the topic that we got for tonight. Let me see. Alfredo Enrique. Is Alfredo here? Mm, okay, so he's not here. Ana Maria. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Brenda Angelica. Okay, Brenda is not here yet. Karen Beatriz. Is Karen here? Mm, okay, so she's not here yet. Selena Janet. I thought Selena was here. All right, so she's not here yet. Uh, Clara Marina. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Christian Eduardo. Present teacher. Okay, great. Uh, David Alberto. Okay, so David, I think is, uh, let me see. All right, so he said that he wouldn't be here tonight. David Armando. I am in the way. Okay, great. You're on the way home. Uh, let me see. Dennis Gerardo. Dennis is. Okay, Dennis, thank you for texting me. Uh, Diego Rodolfo. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Erika Michel. Erika. Okay, so Erika is not here yet. Fatima Laura. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Uh, Gabriela Margarita. Present. Okay, perfect. Griselda Jamilet. Here. Okay, nice. Mm, Guillermo Josue. Present. Okay, perfect. Um, Jaime Vladimir. Present. Okay, great. Mm, let me see. Jenny Marisol. Present. Okay, great. Thank you. Uh, let me see. Jose Roberto. Presente. Okay, great. Uh, Jocelyn Abigail. Present. Perfect. Rafael Ernesto. Okay, Rafael is not here yet. Roberto Antonio. Present. All right, very good. We got uh, Sonia Guadalupe. Okay, Sonia is not here yet. Walter Manuel. Present teacher. Okay, great. Janira Isabel. Present teacher. Okay, very good. And the last one, Judy Magdalena. Is Judy here? Present. Okay, very good. Thank you, Judy. Okay, guys, so now we are going to start, as I told you guys, uh, with a short conversation that we have in the manual. I'm gonna show you up. But in this case, I am not going to, give me one second. I'm not going to read the conversation. I wanna set the audio of that conversation just for you guys to listen. Okay, so just give me one second. I'm gonna try to project the conversation. All right, it's just for you to listen. Give me a second. Oh yeah, here it is. Okay, guys, can you confirm if you can see my presentation? Yes, teacher. Okay, great. 
Great. Great. Okay, great. So I'm gonna try to play this audio about the conversation. I want you guys to pay attention specifically, all right, to the pronunciation of every word. Right after that, we're gonna read it once, like a little bit slow, and then we're gonna practice it as we have been doing like in the past conversations, okay? So let's confirm, confirm me if you can hear the audio, please. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation about a neighborhood. Hi again. This time we'll study how many and how much. Please notice. Can you listen to the audio, people? Yes. Oh, all right. Perfect. So yes. let's follow up. So let's follow up the conversation and then we're going to practice. Okay. So listen. How they ask questions and how they answer them. Remember, count nouns and non-count nouns make the difference. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh, no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages. But I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on. That's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. Okay, so we got in there. Okay, perfect. Now, you just uh, heard the audio about this conversation now we're gonna read it together right uh specifically with the microphone off and then we're going to you know like have a short practice with this this is just a conversation be between nick and palm all right so let's just start over with this it says how do you like your listen up your new apartment how do you like your new apartment? Pam says, I love it. I love it. It's downtown. It's downtown. So it's very convenient. So it's very convenient. Nick says, downtown? Downtown? Is there much noise? Is there much noise? Pam says, oh no, oh no, there isn't any, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. I live on the fifth floor. Nick says, how many restaurants are there near your place? How many restaurants are there near your place? Pam says, a lot. A lot. In fact, in fact, there's an excellent Korean place. There's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. Just around the corner, right? Uh, 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 no, 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 no. Okay, so let's move on. Uh, let's say, what about parking? What about parking? Pam says, well, there aren't many parking garages. There aren't many parking garages, but I usually find but I usually find a place on the street. A place on the street. Nick says, is there much crime? Is there much crime? Pam says, no, it's pretty safe. No, it's pretty safe. 
and then it says hold on hold on that's my car alarm that's my car alarm i'll call you back later i'll this is a combination between listen up a and l i'll i'll call you back later right that's like the end of the conversation now guys do you have any question with the vocabulary that probably you got issues with in this conversation a word that you don't understand from here Is everything okay? You don't have any word? Okay, so let me see what people says in the... Uh, na, 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 na. Hold on. Hold on means like, ah, espera. Okay, hold on means espera. Alfredo Enrique Cornejo present. Okay, Alfredo, I will add you to the attendance list. Okay, so I guess, guys, you don't have any question with this vocabulary. That's good. It means that you know most of the words in this conversation, and that's great. Now, people, I would like to start with a short practice like the one we did yesterday, right? So let's start on this. Christian. I'm going to start with you, mister. And uh, Clara Marina. All right, Christian, you can start. Okay. How do you like new apartment? Apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is that a most nice? Oh, no, there isn't any I live on the fifth floor. Sure, all right. <laughs> How many restaurants are there, are there near your place? A lot, in fact, there's an excellent Korean place juice around the corner. Okay, place just place. around. Place, place. Just around the just corner. Place, just around the corner. Okay. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking. Gar Gar right. Perdón. That's, a That's a plural one. Garages. Garages. But I usually find a place on the street. But I usually is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. All, all on tanks, my car alarm alarm. I call you back later later. Okay, we're gonna repeat that again, Clara. Let's say hold on. Repeat. Hold on. Okay, that's my car alarm. That's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. I call you back I lay back back later. Okay, very good. That's the way. Thank you, Clara, and thank you, Christian. You did it excellent. Now, Robert and uh, Fatima Laura. Mm, ok. ¿Quién empieza? Fátima, ¿querés empezar vos? Como quiera. Va, empiece usted porque la dama es primero. Un caballero. Sí. Mi amor, por favor, por favor, dime que ahorita estoy. I love it. apartment. I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown is the most nice. Oh no, there isn't any. There isn't any. 
I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there more crime? Nah, it's pretty safe. Hold on, that's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. Okay. Thank you, Robert and Fatima Laura. Now, Jaime, Vladimir, and Walter Reyes. Help me up. Nice, Walter. How do you like the new corner? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown, is there much noise? Oh no, there is, isn't any alive on the 54. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot, in fact, there is an excellent current place just around the corner. What about you? Well, there, there aren't many parking garage, garages, but I usually find place on the street. Okay, uh, let's repeat that last part, uh, Jaime. Let's say, listen up. Uh, but I usually find a place on the street. Repeat. But I usually find a place on the street. Excellent. <clears throat> Is there most time? No, it's very safe. Hold on. That's my car alarm. I called you back later. Okay, very like like with a little bit of emotion, right? Okay, thank you, Jaime and Walter. Now let me see. Jocelyn and uh, Gabriela. Are you there, Gabriela? Yes. Okay, perfect. So, Jocelyn, you can start. Mm. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there more No. Oh, no. There is there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there is an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually see a place on the street. Right. Is there much crime? No, it's very safe. Hold on, that's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. I'll call you back later. All right, so that's the last part. Okay. I'll Thank call you. you back later. All right, very good. Thank you, Gabriela and Jocelyn. Now, Griselda. And uh, Roberto Guzman. Western. Okay. Grisel, give me one second. Griselda, are you there? Hmm. Griselda, are you there? I think she's not there. Give me one second, mister. I'm going to find out another person to you. Okay. Is it, uh, Jenny, are you there, Jenny? Jenny Marisol Rodriguez Cruz, are you there? Yes. Ah, okay. Very good. So she's there. Uh, Roberto, you can start. Okay. How do you, how do you like your new apartment? 
Can, can, can you listen, Miss? Jenny? Convenient, okay. All right, Roberto, continue. Downtown, is there much noise? Jenny? Are you there, Jenny? Hello? Uh, Jenny, I think you got issues with the microphone. I don't know if you can get close to the microphone or if you got your, your you know, like headsets, can you remove it, please? So maybe that way we can hear you better. Jenny? I think she got issues with the internet. She sounds like a robot. Yeah, I think she had issues with the internet. Sorry, Roberto, I'm gonna look for another person because uh, I don't know if Jenny got issues, but I'm gonna give you a couple of minutes uh, so you can fix that issue, Jenny, okay? So, Roberto, uh, let's practice with Selena. Selena, are you there? Yes, the chair. Okay, perfect. So, Roberto, you can start. Okay. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It is downtown, so it's very convenient. Mm -hmm. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh, no. There is any... I live on the floor, fish floor. Floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? I love, in fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around, around, around the corner. What about parking? Well, there's there around hours many parking garage garages but i usually find i place on the street is there much for crime no <clears throat> it is very soft all arms that's my car alarm. Como dijo ahí, teacher? I'll call you, I'll call you back later. I'll call you back later. Later. Okay. Later. All right. Very good. Thank you, Selena and Roberto for your participation. Now, let me see. David Romero, are you there? I don't know which David told me that it's going to be as a listener. I read it, teacher. Okay, perfect. I want you to help me out with uh, Ana Maria. Yes. Okay, I, I start. Yeah, you can start. How, how do you like your new apartment? I love it. Very convenient. Don't song, is there much noise? Is there? Oh, no. There is in a floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? 
a lot. In fact, there is an excellent Korean play just around the corner. What about parking? But I usually being a place on the street. Uh, okay, can Ana Maria, can you help me out repeating that sentence again, please? From the beginning? But it says, Ana Maria, well, there aren't. They aren't. Many, many parking. Uh -huh. Garage. Uh -huh. I usually being a place on the street. Okay. All right, but in there is find. I usually find. Repeat. Find. <laughs> find a place on the street. Okay, very good. It's okay. I, is there more screen? Crime. The before cover. The crime. 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 Before cover. Yeah. Crime oh. in, in this case means crimen. Crimen. Yeah. That's crime. It is okay. And, and there much and crime? No. Is there much crime? Crime. Crime. Oh, uh -huh. Okay. Is there much crime? Safe. Hold on, tax my car alarm. I call you back later. Later. Okay. That's what it is. Very good. Thank you, Ana Maria, and thank you, David, for your participation. Now, let me see. Who else is missing? Uh, it's missing Diego. Okay. Diego and uh, Brenda. Are you there, Brenda? Hello, teacher. Okay, perfect. So uh, I would like your help with Diego in this conversation. So, Diego, you can start. Diego, are you there? Diego, are you there? I think Diego is not there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, you know, you're, I thought you were not there, brother. Okay. Can, <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> okay, no I'm here right now. Okay, can you start with the conversation and Brenda will follow you up? Okay, um, how do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's adaptable, so it's very convenient. Downtown, is there is much noise? Uh, with me, give me a second, please. All right. Oh, no, there is... It's not uh, any. I live on the fifth floor. All right. So it says I live on the fifth floor. Very good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um. Let me see. And downtown is there much noise? Yes, let's repeat that part, please. Brenda. Hello, teacher, me perdí, ¿dónde iba? <laughs> no, <I> mean, no, <laughs> it's because... <laughs> no, listen. Can I begin, just... begin again? Why don't you start, guys? Can okay, start okay, okay. All over again, please. So that way you're not I... going to... Cool. I, I'm sorry again, sorry. How do right. you like your new apartment? I love it. It's, it's that one. Okay, so Brenda. Really Brenda, so, sorry to interrupt you. It It's downtown. Repeat. It's downtown. Okay. I love it. It's, it's downtown. So ah. it's very convenient. Convenient. Very good. Okay. Downtown? 
Is there much noise? Oh no, the, there is not any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? I love, in fact, they are excellent. Current place just around the corner. What about the parking? Well, there aren't many parking guys, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's very self call on that my car alarm. I call you back later. Later. Oh. Okay, very good. Thank you, Brenda, and thank you, Diego, for your participation. You did it excellent. Now, let's move on, people. Who's missing? Let me see. It's missing Isabel. Okay, and... Uh... Uh, Jenny says that it's raining in the place where she lives. Judy, are you there, Judy? Okay. All right. So you're going to practice with Isabel. Okay. I'm going to the hall. Okay. Joe, okay. Inicio? Okay. You can start if you want. Okay. How do you like your new apartment? I know this is downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much nice? Oh, no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. floor. How many I... restaurants? Okay, give me Sorry. one second. Give me one second. Um, miss, in these cases, listen up. I live on the fifth Floor. Repeat that part, please. I live on the fifth floor. Excellent. Thank you. Let's continue, Isabel. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent current place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there. There are many parking garage, garage, garages, mm -hmm. uh, but I usually fit a, find a place on the street. Is there much crime? Crime? No. No, it's pretty safe. Hold on, that's my car alert. I, I call you back later. All right, very good. I'll call you back later. All right, perfect. Thank you, people, for your participation on the practice of this conversation. Right after this, I would like we to go down because now we are going to start with the grammar focus. It's basically what is stated on the conversation. And in this case, we are going to be talking about quantifiers, but specifically about two of them. Let me see. Where is Sonia? Sonia, did you, didn't you participate in the conversation, Sonia? Where is Sonia? Se me pierde, Sonia. Sonia, are you there? <laughs> no, I think no. Okay. So, as I said, let's move on on this. And specifically, we are going to be talking about how to use how many and how much. Okay. When it comes to how many, what do you guys understand by how many? What is that? You want to know an amount of something like, for example, in that case, you are talking about things that you can count using numbers, using numbers. Very good. So basically, how many, it's like when we ask about something, 
that you guys can count, right? So basically translated into Spanish, how many means cuantos, cuantas, right? This structure is mostly used, as Robert said, with countable nouns, right? Generally, this structure uh, is usually made to create questions in plural forms. Why in plural? Because since the beginning, as he says, cuantos o cuantas, you have to set a noun in plural. On the other hand, you got how much. So basically, how much is the opposite part of how many. So in this case, it's when we want to know about something or when we ask about something that we cannot count, right? And mostly the questions are in singular form, right? Let's remember how many the questions are in plural, how much the questions are in singular, okay? Like in the examples we got here, and we got the division. Count nouns or countable nouns, and then we got the non-count nouns or uncountable nouns. So if you guys see there, we got a question. So Christian, help me on reading that question, please. Actually, that's a yes, no question, guys. Are there many restaurants? Okay, very good. As he says, are there many restaurants? So basically here, if we want to ask about something that we are expecting an answer like a yes or no, so we can ask this way. Like, are there many restaurants? That's like, hay muchos restaurantes, right? So in this case, so you got two ways to answer in a positive form, and you got three ways to answer in a negative form. This first one says, yes, there are a lot. Okay, a lot means a huge quantity, a big quantity, okay? A lot from 100% to a 0% means 100%, right? So a lot in this case means muchos or muchas, right? But in a big quantity, okay? Yes, there are a lot. See, hay muchos, right? So that will be like the definition for the first uh, answer, the possible answer to this question. Then you got the second answer as example. Walter, help me on reading it, please. How many restaurants are there? Uh, Walter, there are... the answer, Walter, what? the second answer, this one, this one. Wow. Yeah, that one. La respuesta. Yes, the second answer. Yes, yes, there are a few. A few. Okay, that's the key. We got a few. So basically, a few is kind of the opposite of a lot. So as we said before, a lot means a huge quantity, right? A big quantity, like muchos, right? A few means like a very low quantity. So what will be a few, guys? What do you think is a few? In a scale from 100 to 0%, a few might be like a 5%. So what do you think is a few? Pocos. All right, that's the answer. Pocos or pocas, right? So that's like the definition that we can get from a few. All right, and we can say, yes, there are a few. See? Hay pocos. Oh, as we want, uh, as we say generally, right? See, unos cuantos, right? That's a few. And then we got the negative answers, right? So let's focus on the first negative answer that we got for that question. Diego, let's read it, please. Uh, no, there aren't many. 
Okay, very good. So we got the key there. Listen up. No, there aren't. So in there is a combination, remember, between are and not, right? Together, aren't. And then you got many. So many in this case indicates muchos, right? So no, there aren't many. No, no hay muchos, right? Like in a negative statement. Okay, how to substitute when we want to say that there's nothing about restaurants in there? So it's like the following answer. Jocelyn, let's read it, please. No, there aren't any. Okay, very good. No, there aren't any. So if you remember from yesterday, guys, I told you that the word any is a negative word, right? And any can only be used in negative statements and questions. Never use any in a positive statement. So basically, or literally, we are saying here, no, there aren't any. No, no hay ninguno, right? So that will be like the translation of that answer. And then we got the last one, that there's another way to say any. No, there are none. Okay, but you might say, what is the difference? But uh, using there aren't any, and what is the, dif the difference using none? Okay. The word none, since it is a negative word, none is a negative expression. It doesn't need, listen up, it doesn't need the sentence to use not again. Puesto que none significa no, ya no es necesario colocar el not que tiene el aren't en la anterior oración. Okay? So that's the reason why you got no. There are none, right? So, ya no necesita llevar aren't en esa oración. So, we have to be careful on the answers that we can provide people. O es, no, there aren't any. O, no, there are none. Okay? Pero no podemos poner, no, there aren't none. Because it's not correct. Si ustedes dicen, no, there aren't none. Esto no es correcto. Why? Why is not correct? Porque non es una palabra negativa. Ok, por ende, ya no podemos colocar el not again. Es como not. Ok, es básicamente un sinónimo de not. Entonces no podemos negar dos veces. Ok, in the same sentence. So that's the reason why in here you eliminate the not part in here and you just got it like this. No. There are none. But if you don't want to use none and you want to use any, como any no significa not, entonces acá, by obligation, you can use the N apostrophe and the T together. Like, there aren't any. Any is that correct? Okay? Another thing. If you got it like this, it's not correct. Si lo tenemos de este modo, no es correcto. Okay? Why? Porque ahí no llevamos un not. Y por obligación, la respuesta corta negativa tiene que llevar not. ¿Ok? So here, you can use it like this also if you want. No, there are not any. ¿Ok? Oh, there aren't any. So that's like the way, guys, how you answer to a question, a just no question, using plural nouns. ¿Ok? Now... If you see a little bit upper in there, up or down here, so you got the question using how many? Fatima Laura, help me out reading that one, please. How many restaurants are there? Okay, thank you. As it says, how many restaurants are there? So that is not a just no question, right? Ahí ya no es una pregunta the yes or no. So we have to answer as specifically there. How many restaurants are there? Ah, there are 10 or 12. So we are exact on the answer. For example, if someone asks me like this, give me one second. I'm going to create another one here. Check this out. How many students are there 
in the class? Check this question out. How many students are there in the class? What am I asking in here? ¿Qué estoy preguntando? ¿Cuántos estudiantes hay en la clase? Okay, very good. That's the question. Okay, what would I say here? So, since I got 21 students, I can say, check this out. There are, okay, para decir I, okay. And why do I use there are? Because the answer has to be plural, okay? So, there are, like to say I, 20, uh, let me see how many of you are here, 21. 21 students in the class. You see? And I got an answer there. There are 21 students in the class. Okay? So I go straight over there. Good. Until here, do you have any question, people, related to this? Any doubt that you might have with this, with this structure? Or oh, everything is okay until here? No questions? No? Okay. You're super smart, guys. Okay, that's nice. Nobody asks nothing. Okay, that's great. Now, let's move on to the next side. So, this part was just about countable nouns. Now, the uncountable nouns or non-count nouns, as, as you want to call them. So, in here, we use how much, okay? But we can use is there like in there, like in that case. Look at the answer for getting a yes, no answer question. Uh, let me see. Mm -hmm. Ana Maria, let's read the question, please. Ana Maria, are you there? Okay, I think she's not there. Roberto, help me out, please. Is there most crime? Okay, very good. Is there much crime? So in there, we are using much because much is, a con is an uncountable quantifier. Se le conoce como quantifier incontable to the word much, okay? So, no usemos much con un nombre que podamos contar because it's not correct, okay? So, we cannot say, I mean, I have much students. Es como, ah, tengo mucho estudiantes. Does it make sense? No, right? It doesn't make sense. So, much is mostly for uncountable nouns. Remember that. So, in this case, is there much crime? Hay mucho crimen, right? So, the word crime in here, since it is general, so it's an uncountable now, right? So, the first answer that we got there, Selena, let's read it, please. Number two. Uh, the, sec the first answer. Mm. Is there much crime? Aha, uh -huh. the first answer? Yes. There is a lot. Okay, yes, there's, there's there a lot. A lot. Okay, but you might wonder, people, se preguntarán, ah, teacher, pero por qué uh, uh, hay a lot acá? Si también en los Quanti uh, en los countable nouns tenemos a lot. Ok, a lot es un quantifier que podemos usar para ambos. Tanto countable nouns como uncountable nouns. Cuando lo usamos con countables, significa muchos, muchas. Con uncountable nouns, eliminamos la S. Mucho, mucha. Ok, so that's the... Uh, definition of a lot. So it can be used with both. So that's why we got it like that. Yes, there's a lot. See, sí, hay mucho, right? 
So then we got the second one in there. As it says, yes, there's a little. Okay. So en la segunda respuesta de los, los quantifiers, que son con uh, countable nouns, tenemos a few. A few, recuerden, significa pocos, pocas. So we cannot use a few with something that we cannot count, right? So instead of a few, we use a little. A little means poco o poca, depending on the noun that you're going to use, okay? So a little, it's for uncountable nouns only, okay? And it means poco o poca, okay? So that's why we got it like that. Yes, there's a little. And then we got the negative ones. As it says, no, there isn't much. Okay, so in la anterior teníamos many. Recuerden, many, it's for things or nouns that you can count. Much is for nouns that you cannot count, right? So that's why you got the different answers in here with the quantifiers. Any, yeah, I mean, in any, it's the same. Any es una palabra neutral, right? Para decir ninguno, ninguna, ningunos, ningunas, right? So we got it like that. And then as well as none. If you see, we got the same structure. No, there's none. No, no hay ninguna, right? It means that it doesn't have anything related to that. Okay? And at the end, we got a question using how much. As it says, uh, let me see who, to, 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 to. Robert, help me read in the question, please. Uh, the last one, how much yeah. crime is there? Okay, so take a look at that one. How much crime is there, right? I mean, cuánto crimen hay ahí, right? So, Christian, the answer? There's a lot. Of street crime. Okay, there's a lot of street crime, right? So the answer in there, guys, is uncountable, okay? That's uncountable. Remember that. Okay, great, guys. Any question with this? Any doubt, people? Is everything okay? All right, perfect. As I... As I always want to com confirm if that's true. Can you guys on the chat here, on the Zoom chat, can you type one question using how much and one question using how many, please? Solo las preguntas. ¿Podrían escribirme dos ejemplos acá en el chat de Zoom so I can read them? One using how much and the other one using how many, right? Just to identify, guys, if you have understood the structure. Follow up the sequence that we've got. This is with how many, and this is like the one with how much. I'm gonna read you here. So I'm gonna stop sharing this because we no longer need this. Give me one second. All right, so I'm gonna be waiting for your answer, uh, your questions. Let me see. Da, 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 da. How many children do you have? Okay, don't forget Isabel, the question mark, okay? How many girlfriends did you have when you were younger? <laughs> okay. I don't remember how many girlfriends. <laughs> okay, there you go. I just remember my, my current relationship. <laughs> and I think you too, Robert. I think you too. <laughs> okay, very good. That's a good question. Let me see. Are there many cars in your neighborhood? Okay, Diego, very good. Solo que recuerde, Diego, el, the question mark at the end, okay? 
So, how many travel agency? Ok, Yuri. En este caso, Yuri, sería how many. I'm going to type it down there. How many travel agency? Agencies. Got to be plural because you say how many. How many travel agencies are there? It will be like this, Judy. I sent it up to the chat. So you got an idea, okay? Mm, let me say. Two, 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 two. Robert, how much water do you usually have? Robert, have or drink? Even though you can use have, but it's mostly drink, okay? Uh -huh. Both both can be possible. All right. How much money? How much money do you need, Ana Maria? It's missing do in there, okay? Falta la auxiliar ahí. Nada más. How much money do you need? That's like, ah, cuánto dinero necesitas, right? Okay. I wish someone can tell me that, man. How much money do you need? I would say like a $100,000. Ah, are there many school? The word schools, Clara, with plural, with the S. Are there many schools with the S at the end, okay? And the question mark. No olvidemos el símbolo de pregunta. Sí, teacher, se me olvidó. Okay. All right, how much Sam is in the sea? Okay, how many books are there? Very good. How, may, how much sugar do you need for coffee? How many places do you visit on vacation? Perfect, Roberto. Thank you. Janina, how many motorcycles are there in El Salvador? Very good. Good question, actually. How many people is... Dennis, in this case, how many people are there? Because the word people is plural. How many people are there? Uh, how many three there are in your house? Okay, Christian, how many trees with S? With S, mister. How many trees are there? Al revés, are there in a question form, okay? Right. Yeah, porque ahí es de una oración la estructura. All right, uh, how much security is there? Very good, Judy. How many trees are there in the park? Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, perfect, Ana Maria. How many trees are there in the park? Okay. Hey, varios me pusieron la misma pregunta. Okay. Hmm, se habrán copiado. How much time? Uh, let me see. How much? Time hard. Selena, ¿qué me quiso poner en la pregunta? How much time hard the class? Mm, dura así como de tiempo. ¿Cuánto ah, tiempo last. dura? Last. Uh -huh. L-A-S-T en vez de hard, porque hard es de difícil. Ok. So that's different. Uh -huh. Yeah. Ok. Very good. How many games are there in the afternoon? Ok, Jenny. How many time are work? Mm. David Romero. How many time are uh, work? ¿Qué me quiso poner ahí, mister? Uh, how many on the war and the difficult on the war? As many war? Mm, me quiso poner como cuántas palabras difíciles. Mm, que si es difícil tu trabajo ah es que es que ahí dice word de palabra mister por eso es que me, me, me estaba ahí es work con k al final no de ah sorry and the, the word and the trabajo pensaba con ¿no? ya sí okay okay gotcha I'm sorry all right gotcha sí que creo que tenía el micrófono ah Oh, okay. 
how much rain is there okay how many cars color red are there in the park okay have a pleasant night da, 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 da. okay good bye robert uh how many classmates are there how much do you spend okay very good guys thank you for your example questions okay solo no olviden el símbolo de pregunta al final okay y la forma correcta al invertir el si recuerden tenemos there are are there is in a question si tenemos there is is there is in a question okay so that's like some little details that we need to fix on on this okay all right people thank you for getting connected to the class tonight i hope you have a wonderful weekend and let's wait let's see each other on monday okay que tengan un excelente fin de semana para los que no trabajan más que excelente para los que trabajamos, pues ni modo. We need money, right? Nos vemos el lunes, people. All right? Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, bye. Okay. Bye, bye. See you Monday. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.